Okay, I guess I'll just start the clip here because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing because I attempted to pre-record this crap several times before, but you know what? Uh, we'll do it live! Fuck it! So, after being absent for another two... Actually, should we just call it three months at this point? Where the fuck should go? Right. I mean, it's been long enough, we'll just say that. Very much indeed so. Um, but it's not exactly my fault, because we moved to a new house, if anybody saw my little YouTube post, and uh, I've been disconnected from the internet since then. But now we have finally gotten internet access hooked up at our new property, and I am now capable of uploading shit again. And so, in my absence, I've actually had quite a lot of time to think about how I'm going to go about approaching the idea of resurrecting my YouTube channel once again for the fifth time. It's actually yes. only really just the second time in a row, but we'll say fifth because, you know, I'm just that slow. And um, so it kind of seems like the um, the recollection that I've come to terms with the fact of the matter that it's like Snowpiercer, Minecraft has kind of been what's been taking the, uh, the spotlight on my YouTube channel as of recently. Before I went offline and then even after that, I kind of deviated completely from Minecraft and just had a bunch of shenanigan, just gaming, funny moments that doesn't really seem to get a lot of attention anymore. And it all kind of makes sense because my YouTube channel was born simply off the fact of these giant mega ship projects that I started so many years ago. And so, depending on who you are, if you come back to my channel and you see this, and decide to watch it through all the way to the end as my world loads like the Matrix. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, it's either going to come off as good news or bad news because the grand idea that I finally have come up with trying to at least get my YouTube channel back on its feet and returning to its roots and kind of bringing back the attention it once had and hopefully maybe restoring faith in the projects that most people are probably hoping to see get done. I paused there for a second waiting for my accomplice to make some kind of a joke there, but... Why? <laughs> you know what. And why, why accomplice of all things? Accomplice? I mean, what, is his best friend too sensitive? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just a helper, man. Helper? Free labor! Shut up. It doesn't help that he's Mexican, but we'll, we'll, we'll just gloss over hey. that. <laughs> yeah, we're not snowflakes, but anyway, so... Um, yeah, the grand plan here is that, as you can see me just drifting along the entire side of the Axiom, as I've been calling it. I guess, um... I've kind of figured that I might try something new in the... In the way I... Yeah, I'm just doing this on the fly, so don't expect any professional scripting. I'm thinking about doing a thing where maybe for a couple of hours each day, I'm going to do a live stream of just me just doing work on this ship. And I'll have my show, you know, actually have my, my actually, what, what do they call the, the other guys on talk shows? Like, I'm the host uh, and then you're the, uh... I, I, I could be fucked to think of right now. I'm brain dead as you are, mate. Okay, well, yeah, you're definitely not Johnny on the spot whenever it comes to just being thrown into the spotlight like this, but we'll just say we'll just say he's like the co-pilot of the show, and I'm just kind of like the guy running it. So yeah, he'll be kind of like along for humor's sake, and actually kind of catching people's questions if I miss it. Because yeah, I'm wanting to actually try and get into live streaming so I can socialize with everybody once again, and kind of get to, you know, talking about this stuff, seeing how everybody's been really genuinely missing the cruise ships, because even in my latest videos, and even random videos that have nothing to do with Minecraft, it's like there's been some people being like, how's the Axiom doing? What about the Atlantis? You ever gonna get back to the cruise ships? And it's like, it's been dreading on my mind for quite a long time, and in, in all honesty, and so, I'm, uh... Pfft. I don't know, it's just like I haven't been able to muster up the patience or the motivation to continue these massive projects considering my life c circumstances at the moment. So, I mean, it's just been kind of a... Like, my workplace has been such a drain on my conscience, it's like I just can't even muster up the willpower to do... Yeah, choke much. To, to actually do anything with these projects because I'm just so brain dead and exhausted at the end of every day. And usually what little free time I have left, I'm kind of wanting to do something a little bit more fun, comedic, and engaging with everybody else rather than just kind of being the one solo guy who's just on Minecraft 24-7 not talking to anybody. Though you can still talk, but then it just keeps my mind off things and I just completely lose track of what I'm doing. And then I'm just kind of like, you know what, I want to do something else now. So hopefully maybe as a potential gimmick to maybe keep myself focused on this and keep myself inspired, which really has only been you guys, and also you back there just stalking me. Kind of, that's, only, that's only been the ones that have been keeping my mind on the idea of keeping these going, otherwise they probably would have ultimately came, well, became a dead project in the long run. 
So with the idea of live streaming every couple of hours every day or every other day, depending on what the hell happens on a weekly basis, knowing that I, that pff, that I now have an audience to you know keep entertained, it probably might keep my keep me on track and actually keep me yeah you know, motivated to get this done. Seeing that's how that's basically the big thing that everybody's been really wanting to see how this thing turns out. So you know to hopefully excel my efforts, it's like you know. I have Yorktown, as some of you late bloomers in the channel would probably not know, but he is Juju. You're famous for all the screaming, all the funny moments, stalking this fool every day. So yeah, don't don't let don't let his nickname fool you. He's he's Juju. <laughs> I'm I'm totally not the same person, you know. I'm kind of Pablo Escobaring in this bitch. So yeah, so I mean, he'll kind of be helping me out physically, hand in hand, trying to at least kind of build certain sections of the ship as we go along th through the live streams, and and also, I mean, periodically I might upload something a bit different here and there, like doing an actual pre-recorded video and all that stuff. So it ain't just gonna be just purely live streaming every damn day. And plus, there may be some days I still miss because I still have a lot of stuff on my hands to take care of, outside of video games and you know, trucking and such, and looking for new employment. And I guess we're gonna be starting a farm LLC here at the new property we've just moved to, so that might kind of get in the way of things when temperatures warm up here in the Midwest. So, I guess with this just being a Johnny on the spot, just making it on the fly, kind of like, hey, I'm back, video, and this is what's up, that's the change of plan, and that's the course of action that we have coming in the uh, near future, so... Like I said, depending on who you might be and what kind of stuff you became a fan of as far as my content is concerned, like, this is either gonna come off as good news or bad news, but... You know, I guess it's like how I said before, it's like, this is my roots, this is what started it all off. I mean, of course it was the Atlantis, but now the Axioms became the new star child of my channel, so... And seeing as how it's kind of gotten the more better attention and love, at least even from my part over the Atlantis, I guess the Axiom will become the new star child that becomes the ship that we will hopefully be determined enough to actually try to get done. And just to kind of give you another little bit of understanding as to how this is going to go, perhaps each stream, maybe being an hour or two hours long, we're going to try and stay focused on each individual segment of the ship and try to get one section of it done at a time. So, I don't know, say, like, maybe one stream might be the bridge, one st stream might be the cargo hold, or one stream might be the anchor rooms, you know, and then we'll just be kind of working our way back. And I guess in case anybody's just been kind of dying in the comment section, just be like, hey, can you do this real quick, or at least do something real quick? It's like, in case anybody's been wanting to take a look at it, this is how big the Oceanic is compared to the Axiom. Zoom. <laughs> he thinks I have no life, and he's doing shit like this. Well, then again, I've been doing this for, like, what? Let alone, yeah, you started this in secrecy completely. Yeah, the Axiom was just like a complete bombshell back whenever that video was revealed, but... And I mean, let's not forget, I'm the reason it exists. So fuck you. Yeah, but do you have anything to show as to your commitment to the idea? If you want to talk about what remains of a skeleton of a vow, then no. Exactly. So, I guess, um... As that goes, have my old outro go? Yeah, it goes a little something like this. Yeah, you take care of yourselves out there, and don't do anything stupid, and I guess I will see you sometime, maybe even tomorrow, who knows. Where you at? There you are. You think you'll be available tomorrow? You just, you just head Bob, it's like you're not mute, dum dum. All right. Not like Patrick in the ship challenge, or the yacht challenge. <laughs> okay, that's all, all right, well. <laughs> We will see you around as I'm saluting here like as if anybody can see that.